Drum alert! What is going on, everybody? We finally got a statement out from AGS regarding the exploit issue. And boy, after a cursory reading, I have a bit to say about this. So buckle up, everybody. Let's first read this together, shall we? Now, I'm just going to skim through it. But if you want to read the full page and haven't seen it yet, I will post this in the video description as well. Also in there, shout outs to my Twitch and Discord too. <laughs> All right, let's go. Heroes of Arcasia. So they recognized that there was a bug with the Ignite reward chest. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, make sure you watch my yesterday's video where I explain everything here. But they are talking about some BS about code of conduct. Okay, okay. So let, let's see. Let's see what the punishment was. So first off, there was about 2,300 players that received the rewards chest from this. Okay, so it's not as much as we thought, right? A lot of people were thinking that it was going to be way more than this, you know, a decent chunk. But 2,300 players, that's not that much. But then also within this group, so within the 2,300, over 1,200 did not open any of the reward chests. So already from this small number, Nearly 50%, actually it was, it's more than 50%, have not even opened the chest. So shout outs to these guys. So I don't know who these people were or why they didn't open the chest. Did they think it was the right thing, but they were just curious to see if they would get anything, right? These people, shout outs to you. Good job. So I personally think, no, they should not get any punishment. They were just curious. A bunch of little curious Georges. But the group that did not open, okay, they will not have any action taken right for the remaining a thousand players so we have a thousand players that will receive punishment are you one of them man get your ass out of here kick you to the curb Let, let's see what your punishment is all right so at a base level all items will be removed which it should and skill tree levels will be rolled back okay whatever right if they have honed to 1680 1690 1700 whatever are those item levels going to be removed too? Let's see. So, because items, they could have already used them, right? May have gold or the gold values. They will be deducted from their balance. Okay. So, what I'm assuming here is that if you honed, it is going to deduct all of that gold that you got from honing, or not, not that you got, but what you used, right? So, if it's 3K a tap and you tapped 100 times, that's negative 300,000 gold in your bank account. If you have 300K gold right now, that means you're at zero. If you have 50K in your account before this, now you're at negative 250K. So people who have been abusing this for a lot, theoretically, should be in the negative millions of gold. But it doesn't seem like they are going to roll back the item levels. So they will still get their gear, they will still get their gear quality, but they will have negative gold, which is a little bit of a disappointment. But let's let's see for a second here, right? So before I talk about those, we're going to have to talk about these first group of players that have mistakenly encountered the issue, right? So from this, people who have just not opened the chest or maybe did it like one or twice. Yep, once or twice, they will just have the items withdrawn and they will not be suspended slash banned. I think this is reasonable, right? If you just made a mistake, you could just be somebody stupid, but you're stupid, right? You should never do something like this. Never risk your account from getting banned by doing something as silly as this. One or two chests, this is not going to give you enough mats for you to do anything meaningful, right? So, which is why I think they, they decided to settle on one or two chests. Our team is investigating if we can remove the items for this group during maintenance. That's perfect. So, okay, so it looks like they will give a short suspension to these people, the one or two chess people, if the item removal process takes longer than the maintenance period. So you guys may get suspended for a little bit, which is, a, which is an okay punishment, right? Because if they're having trouble with doing it, you still exploit it, right? Even if it was only one singular chest, just to try it out, you exploited in the game, that is TOS. To be fair, they were very lenient, right? Just to simply remove all the items and not give you any punishment. But to give you a short suspension because it takes a long time, that's fair. 
I think for those those who are doing one or two chests, that is fair. Okay, enough yapping. Let's keep on going. So now we talk about the three and up. The three to seven, they will receive a two-week suspension. So all my fellas who have done two chests, they are having a big sigh of relief right now. Because if you did one singular chest more, well, goodbye to your account for two weeks. Right? So this one I think is okay, I guess, right? It, it doesn't make sense for them to get perma banned completely, in my opinion, because through again, three to seven chests, it's not gonna give you a crazy amount. Well, I mean, to be fair, it, it, it's still gonna give you hundreds of thousands of gold, right? Bound gold, fusion materials. Uh so yeah, it, it's it two weeks is is pretty good. But if they remove all the items and the negative gold, I think this is fair. Right? I don't think these people should get permaban. It's the people who are grinding this seven to eight hours a day thinking that they won't get caught. Right? These mother... Oh, I shouldn't be saying that. Sorry. These mother suckers opened eight to 14 chests and 15 plus chests. So, okay, hold on. So, eight to 14 chests will receive a one month suspension. This is bad. If you're doing this for eight times, well, honestly, if you're doing it for... You know, a decent amount of times, even seven is, is a little too much now that I think about it. You know what I mean? Like, it should be like one to four and then five plus. If you did it more than five times, you, you know what you're doing. I mean, you should know what you're doing after the first time, but you know what I mean, right? You just want to see it happen more. So you give them like four chances. And then within the one to four, you, you then base it off of a two week or a one month suspension, right? But anything above five, like I'm being serious here. Five is enough. For a grown adult, because let's be honest here, no kids play MMOs anymore. It's just adults. So you are a grown ass adult. You should know that you shouldn't be doing this. And if you did it, it was only a given one to four times. Maximum one is forgiven. Two to four, it, you're a little stretching it there, right? Five plus, get out of here, right? We don't want you. Get out of here. You know what you were doing. You knew what was harmful for the game and you still decided to do it. You deserve a perma ban. But unfortunately, I am not on the AGS team and those explorers can have a sigh of relief because I'm not in there. They are being a little bit more lenient because maybe they are, these explorers are paying money, right? Real money. So that's why they're doing this. So whatever, right? Eight to 14 is whatever, but that, less 15 plus, surely, Surely we will get a permanent ban from this, right? They will receive a notice that they have received a 30-day suspe- Pending further review. Are we kidding me right now? This group will have various level of actions up to permanent bans. Up to. Th this is the same thing as like McDonald's posting on their like mirror or like that window thing. Going like, guys- Come, we're hiring now up to $20 an hour. You're not getting $20, okay? You're, you're probably getting minimum wage. The $20 is for working there for 10 plus years. And then you become a manager and then now you get $20 an hour, right? It's, it's the same thing as, I hate this. I hate up to. Up to is the worst thing you can, that's the most debate thing you can ever say. Because we all know, if they were truly going to give permanent bans to these 15 plus losers, it would have just said permanent ban. N none of this crap, right? This just tells me that no one's getting permanent ban unless you really, really screwed up, right? But th this is a huge shame by AGS. This one I can forgive, right? Because I mean, I, I still don't forgive any of this crap, but okay, whatever. But 15 chests. <laughs> 15 you open 15 or higher and you might not even get permanently banned that's insane oh okay I'm, I'm getting like hot over here man i gotta like ban myself oh my goodness to stop exploitation of the main reward issue and other bugs access to strong see stronghold we all suffered where is our compensation right they should have just added a section here for compensation for the innocent players who got affected by this kind of bs right the trauma the drama where's our compensation right why are they getting such weak ass freaking punishment and the people who were honest you know spending real money 
grinding, playing your game, they get nothing? Like, hopefully they give us compensation, right? Like, at, at a later date. But th to show nothing for now is a little bit concerning. Uh, but yeah, access to strongholds was disabled. So PSA to everybody who does have a character stuck in stronghold, make sure you submit a customer support ticket. <sighs> okay. I'm just going to say it, everybody. Like... I hate doing this. I hate witch hunting. But if I see any stupid person, one of these losers right here, maybe even up to the seven part, right? Any of these losers right here. If I see you in the game, I am gatekeeping you. I promise. That is a guarantee. If I am joining a lobby and I see you, I'm leaving. Okay? I'm going to waste your time. You do not deserve a two-week, one-month, or 30-day suspension. You deserve to go, okay? You know what you're doing. You're a grown adult. You know what you're doing. So I know this is a witch hunt, and I might regret doing this, but I, I'm not going to tell you guys to do something, but what I'm going to do is gatekeep. If I see anybody with a 100-quality weapon and every single gear is 100-quality, if they have full level 9 event gems... You know, these obvious things get out of my freaking lobby. Bye bye. Right. I will perma ban you from my lobbies. How about that? Since AGS refuses to do so, you can continue to play the game. Right. Because these people who have abused it, let's say you opened 50 chests. Right. And you get this pending further review and then you never get perma banned. Right. But then you get negative 5 million gold. And all that crap. Oh no, you got your items taken away and you got negative 5 million gold. You're still 1700, right? You will be able to benefit from a gear hard. You'll be able to play it. That is the messed up part. I mean, of course, it's going to be after 30 days, right? So you'll be a little late. But still, you will still have that juiced up item level character for free, basically, right? If you want to RMT gold, go ahead. Right? These are the types of people that will RMT gold. So I don't agree with this decision. I personally think they should have individually rolled back people's accounts and then gave them maybe a 30-day ban, right? Not necessarily have to perma-ban them per se if you're going to do that. But if you're not going to do anything, right, then you should have just perma-banned, right? That, that's the simplest solution here. Just wipe them clean. But okay, I was yapping for a little bit. I'm a little disappointed. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. This is their team update on addressing the reward exploits. Let me know what you all think, right? Am I tripping here or do you guys think the same as me? What are you guys going to do about it? Let's hear it in the comments. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.